This is Todd with All Things Archery and Shooting, and today we're going to be doing something different. We're going to be doing five things, that's right, five things for under $500 on this truck. Again, this is my 2013 Ford F-150. It's a four-wheel drive, basically a stock truck. It's got the 3.7 liter motor in it. I bought this truck for about $12,000. It's in fairly decent shape, but of course, can you do some updating? Sorry about the nasty weather. I just got through raining, but I wanted to get this done. So I'm gonna do a complete walk around here. Again, this is a 2013 Ford F-150 XL edition four-wheel drive pickup truck. And today we're gonna to be just showing part one of five things you can do to your truck completely change the look of it and the functionality of the truck for under $500 okay so the first thing as you can see that we've done to this truck I just finished and got it back is look right here that there are tinted windows along with a tinted strip and I tinted the front of the truck as well the front lights and the rear lights okay completely sets the whole truck off. I'll put some pictures in of the truck originally when I bought it with nothing done to it. So, so far thing I've done first is the tinted windows. And you see the rear tear lights have been tinted as well too. Okay. Now this whole tint job, including the tinting of the tail lights, was $180 for the window tint and an additional $90 for the um, headlights. So we're at uh, our first part one, our first thing is going to be 180 and 95 that comes out to 275 dollars okay for the tent job again these are five things you can do for under 500 dollars each to your ford pickup truck okay all right this is next thing we're going to do is going to be really interesting so hold on while i get in the garage you get the lights on and get it ready and now we're on part number two of the things of six things you can do might be seven but six things you can do for under five hundred dollars per upgrade on your ford f-150 truck which is right over here behind me now what we're going to do in this section is we're going to install this here this is a tonneau cover it's going to go on the back of this truck so As you can see, it's still in a box. It just came in today. All right. And so this is a, so it's gonna allow us, once you put this tonneau cover on to carry our cargo and stuff back here, I haven't worried about it getting stolen or getting rained on and protect it, and we can protect it for the elements. So according to manufacturer, this tonneau kit should take roughly one to, to two hours to complete from start to finish. I don't think it's gonna take that long, I've installed these before and they're much quicker than that, but I've never installed this kit. Now here's the thing on this kit. This kit I got from eBay, and not from a China eBay, but from an American reseller that came out of California. The thing originally was selling for $149 on eBay, and the guy had a mega offer on there. So I offered him $100 on it. So he came back to $125. And then I went back again with my next offer, which was $110. And lo and behold, he accepted it for $110. So I got this tonneau cover for $110, and this is going to be the unboxing. So hang on. Okay, everybody. This is, all right, this is the unboxing. Again, this is a kit that I got from eBay. And um, don't knock eBay, you get some pretty good buys. This was originally $149, and it's a tonneau cover designed specifically for this truck. Uh, and I got it for $110, okay? So, let's get it opened up and see what we got. See, they come in a nice box, tape there, where they, they even tape the, the straps so they don't come loose on them, which is kind of a nice touch. Let's cut those off. Cut these off. Same thing here. Alright, 
and one last one down here at the end. Alright, come right here, open this up this way. Alright, here we go. She is opened up now. Let's get everything out of here. So we have looks like the um I've got a light for, for back here, it's kind of nice, and this is the it's like the insulation strip or the weather stripping port. This is the actual tonneau cover right here. It's a pretty, it's pretty heavy duty vinyl on it. And we got a, looks like a full complete hardware kit, which is nice. Let's see what's in it. Oh yeah, these are all the clamps and everything. There you go. These are all your clamps to hold on your side rails. Okay. And then these are your bars that go across the back of it as well. Okay. That's pretty much it there. Now the next thing we need to do is we need to find the instructions in here. Here we go. Pretty basic instructions. See there? Very basic, actually. <laughs> Ropes, don't come right. So according to this, step one, clean top of bed, okay? Well, it rained out here, so top of my bed's clean, but I'm gonna get a rest. So now we got these on there. We have our hardware here, which is right here. It's an Allen wrench, comes with, the, comes with the Allen key already, which is nice. Open this up. I'll use this box right here, right in that box there. Now you take these clamps here, you see that hole right there? this if you read your instructions it screws in right there like that okay comes down from the top and goes in so this you should look over here get a better shot of it you can see what I'm doing there okay want to do is we want to slide this up into here and this clamps down we're going to right to the edge of that so that we can keep your your edges saying get it right against the edge of your tailgate drop this in tighten it up now you could use a, a screw gun or impact wrench on this but I like to do these by hand because you don't want to over tighten these because you could strip them out this is only aluminum and it doesn't really take much to hold these together so I like to use this use the the tool that's supplied with it and use my own hand strength on it that way i know i'm not going to strip it or anything but if you feel comfortable using a screw gun or something of that nature by all means please do okay so get it nice and tight almost there The only thing I'm not sure about is this is going to work with this um, tailgate top plastic liner on here. It just it should, according to the manufacturer, he said it shouldn't affect it. So we're going to find out. And then we're going to talk about this tonneau cover that I installed on my truck. I had an issue with it. This is from the part one of our series. Um, one of the locking blocks that locks the tonneau cover down to the bed in the frame was cracked and wouldn't hold and it kept popping up. So I called the manufacturer, told them what's going on. They graciously sent me a brand new one. I just got it in, I installed it. So let me show you what the issue was. Okay, if you look right here, it's the locking block we're talking about. It fits in the rail of the truck. That rail right here was all the way down the line of the truck. All right, this locking block is a separate piece you adjust it to lock into you lock your mechanism in which is right here that locks your mechanism in and the problem was there was a crack in it right here right across the top with this ball that little ball right there that pops in and out that holds it in place that little ball there had a big crack in it that kept popping out so they sent me this new block um, 
took five minutes to reinstall it and get it set up. Once I've done that, it now works properly. So basically, just take it down there like this and just close to it. Now we have the completed tonneau cover you can see uh, on the truck. Looks really good. And it's locked and secured and waterproof now, which is even better. So, again, other than that, there was a minor issue, but the manufacturer stepped up, took care of it right away, so I have no complaints. Alrighty, and this is until next time to so this series on what you can do to your truck for under $500 per upgrade. This is the part three of a six part series, might go seven, but six parts as of right now, of what you can do to your Ford F-150 pickup truck for under $500 per upgrade. This is part three, this is gonna be the stereo system. Let's take a look what we got. If you look right there, that is a Pioneer 220EX stereo system that I just installed. Talk about an easy install, it was very simple. The radio cost me $180, and then on top of that, what I did with this radio, it came with all the installation kit, everything else, and then the face plate around I had to pay an extra $29 for, so we got $180 and $30, so that's $210, and then I also added, check this out, bam, a rear backup camera. That was another $99. So for this whole package, we've got $180 and $30 for $210 and $99. So we're at $409 for this upgrade. And this is a much, much needed upgrade and very functional and lets you do what the newer trucks can do. This being... Okay, this being the XL edition of the Ford F-150, it's a very stripped down edition of the truck. The radio in here is strictly an AM FM radio. It had, had no Bluetooth, it had no navigation, it had nothing in it except a clock and AM FM radio, and it sounded terrible. Okay, so that was, that was this, what we did here is we went and got this Pioneer 220EX. So this Pioneer has a CD player, has Bluetooth connectivity, built in equalizer, AM FM radio. Okay. It's got a backup camera, and it's a full touchscreen as well, too. And like I said, this gives it, this updates the truck's interior to more of a newer type of truck. So now I've got all the stuff the newer trucks have, including Bluetooth and uh, CD player, equalizer, everything I need. All right? And so this upgrade took me about two hours to complete. It wasn't that hard once I figured out how to get the dash apart. It was the hardest part. I had to figure out how to take this dash apart here. But once I got this dash, figured out to get it apart, and I had to go buy a couple clips that I broke off. But other than that, insulation went flawless. I unplugged the old system that came with several different plugs in this kit. I found the right plug. I wired it to the system and then plugged it right into my existing um, wiring harness. And what really shocked me was I thought this would have some cheap speakers in it. But this truck has four speakers all the way around, and they actually sound very good. I mean, extremely good. Let's put some music on and check it out, okay? So we go over here, we click down on this here, you click radio, it's all push button, you see. All right, FM, bingo. We can do a search on the music. So we sentenced me to life There you go, this is some good country music. Now that's at 14, now listen up. He's the damnedest dog that I've ever seen. All right, that sounds really good. And then you got the equalizer here, you can change everything you want from more bass. More power, flat, custom, vocal, but it sounds really good. You notice the panel keeps changing colors too. All right, so again. All right, all right, buddy. So here we go. So Pioneer 220EX. Bluetooth, CD player, AM, FM radio, backup camera, the whole nine yards, okay? Around, right around $410, $415, and I did the installation myself. If you were to pay someone to install it, it'd probably cost you another $75 or $100. That still puts you within our $500 budget. All right, so that is the third thing we've done for um, upgrading this truck for five, less than $500. All right, now stay tuned for number four coming up. We're going to part four of our things we can do for under $500 each to improve the performance and the looks of your 12th generation Ford F-150. This truck here is a 2013 F-150 XL four-wheel drive with a 3.7 liter. And today we're going to be installing these sun visors, which are go right here over the door. 
these will go right here like this okay and then we're going to be installing this bug deflector on the front of the truck okay which look right around the front of the truck here it will be installed in that front fender right there okay now this whole project here was one of the least expensive I think the bug deflector was sixty dollars and the uh, rain guards were right around $45, so what, $105 for that setup there to get installed? So that's what we're going to be doing now. Okay, so stay tuned while we get it ready for you. Thanks. All right, there you go. Installed. The side's done. Looks, look, makes a huge difference on the truck. Look at that. Very simple install. Here's the other side. Check it out. Driver's side done. It just makes the truck look a whole lot different now. All right, good. Now we're going to do the, um, okay, but this is Todd again. All things are, we're installing the um, bug deflector in the front of the truck now. And this one's made by AVS, which is a good brand, as you can see here. ABS bug deflector. Two. Only thing, here we go. There it is. Completely changed the look of the truck. You're talking about $105 or $60 for the bug deflector and $45 for the rain deflectors. Maybe 45 minutes of installation time, so I'll rate this a one wrench on installation. Just be sure you clean and prep your servers real well. As you can see, it completely changes the look of the truck. I mean, it has a whole new dimension to it. Let's walk around it, take a look at it. Okay, here we go around the other side. There you go. Completely changed the look of the truck. Let's back up, get an overall view. And there you go. All right. Well, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop me a like down at the bottom and look for the next um, section in the next chapter. I'm going to be installing here real soon. Thank you and appreciate you watching. Ciao. I'm going to have another series on installing the... Um, another section on my truck but I was using a newer camera and my whole install procedure on this on uh, the step bumpers which I'm gonna show you in a minute um, the whole install procedure was lost on that new camera it's corrupted I could get it to download so all I have is the finished product to show you so I'm gonna do my best to try to explain it to you okay these are the um, side steps for the truck and let's take a look at it as you can see that's the um, side steps right here okay um, again, I do apologize. I had a full install video on this, but it was uh, I using a different camera and for some reason I went download the information and it was corrupted. It wouldn't let me download it. So I lost all the information. So we're going to do a quick review on what this is. These are side steps for the Ford F-150 2013 XL um, Super Cab Truck. These steps cost me about $140 shipped to my house. So as you can see, they come with all the hardware that you need. What's nice about it all these Ford trucks already have all the holes pre-drilled in, so it was, a, it was a simple 30 minute installation for both sides. So let's take a look at it real quick. I'm gonna crawl down here and show you underneath where the installation's at. Okay, if you look underneath here, let me turn some light on for you. All right. You see right there? That's how they attach to the truck. As you can see right up here, these are already pre-drilled. So all I do is just attach them in there and send them all the way in. Pretty easy, pretty simple install actually. They were all pre-drilled, so nothing to worry about. They're real, real simple. All right. Okay, and then the bottom pieces, as you look right here, the bottom pieces just bolt right in, which is right here. And these little things right here, these metal things, they slide in back and forth. So you can adjust it again whole install probably about 30 minutes all right so as you can see came out really nice looks good but we get get to the truck now you can step right into it all right here's the other side Again, this whole project took 30 minutes. The uh, step rails are $140 shipped to my door. So, all right. Again, that's another 100. Let me 
Okay. All right, if you look at the step back of the truck, it actually makes the whole truck look a lot nicer. Adds a whole new dimension to the truck. There you go. All righty. Stay tuned for our next and final. Hello everybody, this is Todd, all things archery and shooting, and we're going to continue our series on working on my F-150 pickup truck, um, Series 12, which is a 2013 four-wheel drive XL. Um, today we are, we're, we've installed a slow-down tailgate drop, which is, check this out, here come, watch this. Here it'll be your tailgate up and it just likes to fall on you. Well, now you have to slow tailgate drop and it slowly drops down. Okay, this is this what this part is right here. This little shock right here. Pretty simple install. Um, you can see it's by a company called jcwinauto.com. They call it their slow down shock up. Even comes this nifty tool right here, which you use for right here to take this part out here. So what you do is you're going to put a plate behind here, which is this plate right here, and you're going to add a, a screw knuckle down here. These are all pre-drilled holes into your truck, which is right here, so you ain't got to worry about nothing. It's already pre-drilled. Hole install took maybe 15 minutes. Price of this kit's $20, and it's really simple, quick and easy. Uh, it was so simple, I, knew I was going to film it, but I got done so quick, I didn't have time to film it. That's how quick it was, but it makes it really nice. Okay, you just put it up there. It hides. You don't see it. Then you open your tailgate up. You can stop it at different. You can stop your tailgate in different areas, and you can also just let it come down. You see, nice and easy. All right, so that was a 15-minute, twenty-dollar um, upgrade. Now we're looking at another upgrade I did this morning. Another very simple upgrade, which is this bull bar here. This bull bar right here is $150. It's really simple to hook up. You already got the holes lined up. You remove your um, your toe cleats from underneath your bumper there. You attach the um, provided brackets that come with the with it, which is four bolts basically, really simple. And then you just tighten it up um, to the bull bar. This whole installation there took 30 minutes, $150. So for $170, I got the bull bar set up and installed. And we have the shock, uh, the slow down shock install for the tailgate all righty again that whole upgrade looking at 150 dollars for the bull bar and 20 dollars for the shock upgrades 170 dollars a total of one hour install time all right stay tuned for the next series we're going to be working on probably what we're going to be doing next is going to be wheels and tires all right till then thanks ciao